This is the Authentic Dating series brought to you by Ahmad and David. Where we explore what it takes to have a dating life you're excited about. Hey guys, I'm David. I am Ahmed. And this is the Authentic Dating series. Great. Well, we're back. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're back. We had a very short uh, break. Dave, you had a trip to Lanzarote. How was that? Yeah, yeah. I had a, lo- a wonderful trip. Went there, sat on the beach, um, spent a lot of time at nudist beaches, actually. Nice. Which I highly recommend for people, actually, as a place to just like be free and observe how you feel about being naked in front of other people. It's quite an amusing exercise emotionally and also. Just- how did you feel? Um, every time, uh, yes, you know, digress. But, you know, when you go to the beach and you, the, every time you like kind of strip off and you get there, you're like, oh, people are looking at me. What are they thinking? And then you do it and you realize, oh, no one really cares that much. Okay, cool. I'm going to get rid of the rest of my beach time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, 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 it's funny. It's, yeah, yeah, it's funny yeah. because everyone there, well, not everyone, but I presume a lot of people there are quite used to it. They're just like, mm. yeah, yeah, it was just like whatever, same same way. Mm. Mm. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I was in uh, Corfu as well for, for a week. No nudist beaches, uh, although I, Chloe did think to go to one, but then we didn't. It didn't get onto the agenda in the end. Um, but we had a great time, actually. It was really good to get away. Uh, I think it's really important. And I know we both really value traveling, um, mm. so it was nice to, to get away. So, But anyway, we are, we are back, back on schedule. And... Um, yeah, we've got an interesting episode uh, for you guys today. Just to give you a title of it is we're going to talk about like uh, key reasons why not to hack your dating life um, and really speak from our experiences uh, of what can go wrong when you try to shortcut or circumvent, you know, real meaningful change in your dating world. But before we get into that, we want to introduce you to uh, a new course that uh, David and I put together called The Power of Authentic Communication. And as you can gather for anyone who's been listening to us for a long time, just from the title of our podcast, Authentic Dating Series, like, you know, <laughs> uh, authentic communication is so key to your dating life, but also your life in general. And from, from my side, like what I think and believe around authentic authentic communication is that you know it's the only way to create real meaningful connections with people because when you're speaking from an authentic place people really get to see and feel you as a person that the real human that's that's there uh, as opposed to what actually 99 percent of people out there are doing which is more manipulation you know that you know you know what i mean david like the people who are out there are just like oh, okay they're only talking to you and i'll give you a quick example you know, like they're only talking to you because they want something, right? And Chloe and I in Corfu and we're walking past all these restaurants and everyone's mm. always like, hello, hello. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I see. Yeah, I, I see what's going on here. You're, you're saying hello because you want me to come and eat at your restaurant. That's mm. basically what a lot of men are doing to women. They're like, hello. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and women know. Women know that you're only talking to them or asking them something or whatever because you want something from them. Uh, yeah. You, you want to go on a date or you want to have sex, basically. And and the thing is, there's nothing wrong with wanting to have sex or wanting to go on a date. But when you use manipulation, like that really fucks things up because it just kind of comes across as CD or that it's like, why can't you be up front? Mm-hmm. And I think this is really important for any man out there who often feels um, that they might come across creepy or weird or awkward. The ultimate truth is, is that you're not using the power of authentic communication. Like, mm. and this might be a case of when in your dating life, it could be in your work as well. And it, it's that you, you're very fixed on what you want and not necessarily on what you can give to someone else. So in the course, we're going to be pouring in like, I'd, I'd say 15 years of learning. Like I had a big breakthrough probably about 10 years ago when I realized that, you know, talking about things that were authentically important to me was made a huge difference instead of kind of mm. talking about those can things you think that women want to talk about. The impressive, actually, the impressive thing, quote unquote, impressive things. Yeah. 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 Actually, but actually talking from a real point of view and I can think of a couple of kind of very short relationships. And when I say short, I mean the number of days, where I was able to mm. go to like a real depth of understanding someone and getting to know someone is, and it was purely through the case of just like really just bringing myself to the table 
um, without fear and concern. And you know, in this in this course, it's a it's a four hour course. We're going to be running it. Uh, it's next week, isn't it? On the Sunday, because I always forget things. Um, mm. It's on the thirtieth Sunday, thirtieth of August. It'll be starting at eleven p. Eleven, sorry, eleven a.m. UK time. Eleven p.m. God, that'd be bloody late, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, but yeah, this is going to be you know the combination of some of our our greatest work really. And if you love our podcast, you're going to love the course because we're going to be demonstrations. We're going to be taking you through exercises, so it's you're going to it's a really hands on kind of course. You're not going to sit there and listen for hours. It's going to be you doing the work, learning, creating impactful change in your life, and learning actually the difference between like coming across as weird, sleazy, awkward like you know why you're getting rejected and actually be powerfully connecting with the women that you meet yeah and to add just a little bit of detail to that is one of the um one of the key things that um gets in people's way when when you know we start talking about being authentic and speaking vulnerably is fear and the fear of like how are people going to receive this information like if i speak openly Mm. about how i really think and feel gosh People don't want to hear how I really think and feel. They're going to think I'm weird or they're going to think I'm, I'm weak. And, and there is actually that, that concern, like it's, it comes from a certain place. And what we're going to teach you in this course is that there are common fears that men face, that all men face, and how to overcome these fears. Because these fears will always crop up and get in your way unless you identify them and know how to neutralize them. So we're going to be teaching you how to deal with those fears, but then also how to then express yourself authentically in, in the real way and avoid the common pitfalls. And because you, for anyone who's been listening to our podcast, as David said, for a long time, um, you know, it's great uh, and we love it. Uh, you listen. And, and what we've really done here is we've taken um, our experience of, of teaching as well. And we've put this into this course so that you can really learn experientially like how to to deliver the the um, the knowledge of what we've been teaching in our podcast, because it's great to listen. Um, but what we're finding is that the fears of what's getting in people's way of actually taking the actions and then being authentically expressed. So that's going to be a key part of what we talk about. And so this course, as David said, is uh, it's actually about it's, it's actually five hours, Dave, with a, a, a one hour. It's from 11 till six. Right. So it's a, it's a five hour course experiential. So what that means is we're going to be taking you through, through exercises that are designed to um, unleash your authentic expression. And, mm. and, when, and when I say that, like your authentic expression, it's not going to be a rehash of how David speaks or how, how, or how I speak. It's not going to be, uh, you know, 101 openers or conversational starters that we use. We're going to give you the tools that you're able to actually go out there and, and create your own way of being and speak from your own heart. Uh, and, you know, what more could you ask for? You know, this is we're talking about real confidence here. You know, we're talking about. Um, creating meaningful connections so this all of this is going to be um uh, what we're actually priced this at is uh, for the day is about 300 uh, 300 pounds but for those who are listening today we're going to put together a uh, what is it called a promo code and uh, there'll be a link in the show notes and you click on that link and the promo code is podcast so yeah so press the link and uh, go to the um Go to the Eventbrite page, and on there, when you uh, when you um, when you go to pay, you can put in podcast, and you will get the discount. It'll only be two hundred pounds, not three hundred pounds. And yeah, so we look forward to having you there. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely worth signing up for, and you'll get some of our personal time with us too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, actually, there's, thanks for reminding me, Dave. Yeah, there's a there's a bonus for anyone who signs up to this course is that you get a three one hours coaching with David with both David and I, and so that's included in the price of the event. The coaching won't take place on the same day. It will, it will be uh, we'll arrange it afterwards once you complete the course. Uh, but that's one of the bonuses, and an, another bonus that we're throwing in as well is you're going to get. Um, how do we call it? It was cheat sheet. The, the cheat sheet. Yeah, we call it the cheat sheet. And and these are like the, the do's and don'ts of authentic uh, communication because, you know, people make a lot of mistakes. So we've created uh, a cheat sheet to really help you navigate these these uh, tricky waters. Awesome. 
It's a lot there, guys. It's really like, you know, this course will be, what, four or five times the price in a, in a few months' time, if I'm honest with you, you know? So it's like, get in there now while you get a good price and you get a lot of extras thrown in as well. Great. Great. So? To the episode. Yeah, so to the episode. Yeah. All right, so yeah, so today, as I said, mentioned earlier, we're going to be speaking about why not to hack your dating life? And so many guys are out there trying to find the quickest way to to meet a girl, find a girl, date a girl, have sex with a girl. And it's from our experience, what we found time and again is when you're when you're going for these sort of hacks, you only get surface level results and yeah. or, or superficial results and and what that what that means when i say surface level is great you know you might get a girl to laugh you might get her number you might even go on a date hey you might even get sex like once twice three times four times a hundred times whatever but what you won't get is real meaningful and depth of connection yeah like you know i can talk from this place i can definitely remember in my younger years being able to do those things like, you know, mm. I can make girls laugh. I was fun. I was having fun in the club, but I wasn't really talking to who she was or who I was really. I was just entertaining to a certain degree. Like a lot of you guys would be like, oh, okay, I want to make girls laugh. I want to have funny conversation. Like that's all well and good. The problem is, is, you know, you learn these hacks, you learn some one liners, you learn, you know, you know, this was, this was a lot about what the, the PUA scene was about before. It was about hacking. It was about like, let's hack this dating, relating, connecting thing and get some results. But the problem with that was, was that you used to get some laughs and you used to get a girl's number and maybe she might go to bed with you. But the next morning when she woke up or the after the date or whatever, she would be left with this feeling of emptiness. Mm. And you might even also be left with that feeling of emptiness. And what that was, was that you had this superficial interaction with someone and then you woke up in the morning, you were like, okay, all the laughs are gone now. You know, all the, that's all gone because it's finished. And then you, your, your mind kind of goes and your body, even your emotions feel like, but what else was there? And then you're left with this feeling of just like, there was nothing else. Mm. Like you imagine you've probably met people like this who you meet once, you maybe meet them twice and you're like, oh, they're fun people. But you almost have the same experience with them every time. There was nothing else to that person apart from that superficial fun. And this is what you create when, you, when you're like hacking your dating life. How can I hack conversation and how can I hack my dating profile? Mm. Yeah, yeah. It really reminds me of uh, some of the characters that we met for our, for our time in the, in the, PA, P, the, that's the PUA industry, the pickup the pick world rather. And, um, and it's actually quite sad. Like I'm, I'm, I don't speak from a place of knocking, uh, these people because I've actually seen, uh, over time, like the detrimental effect that it can have when people go out and they fake it till they make it, let's say, right. That's a common phrase. You fake it till you make mm -hmm. it, you fake the confidence, you, you rehearse lines, you learn some quick tips, um, or, you know, maybe it's not even quick tips. Maybe it's a whole course on tips um and ways of speaking and you, you absolutely 150 percent you can get results however uh, and i think a really key thing is what david um spoke about there is there's no respect or for yourself as a human being or the other person as a human mm. being and that human connection the, the the humanness of it and so then what you're left with is 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 just a, a performance it's just a, perform a performance and a response, you know, much like um, a comedian or something, right, on a stage, you know, it's mm -hmm. good, good laughs, you know, on the night and whatnot. But you're not thinking the next day, like, oh, yeah, that, that was that, like, I wish he was here right now. Like, it's, it's just entertaining. And, and this is on so many levels that, um, that this comes across that this it becomes very difficult to to um, troubleshoot. You know, like some guys are like, oh, I met this girl, she laughed, I got her number, uh, we had great conversations, and then, oh, but why is she ghosting me now? And mm. it's like, and, and it's like, well, why it's difficult to troubleshoot is because on on a, an emotional level and on a human level, there was no actual connection. It was just all superficial. And, and so then afterwards, they're left with no connection 
And so it's like, oh, well, yeah, this all kind of, it just kind of, they, they call it uh, in sales, it's called buyer's remorse. Yeah. You know, it's like that initial excitement, like buying a new iPhone. I actually, I often get this with the new iPhones. It's like, <laughs> you know, especially if you've got one that's pretty decent and then you upgrade too, too early and then you've basically just got the same thing with a bigger screen. It's just like yeah. the same software does the same stuff. It had no, not a bigger screen. It's the same size screen now. It's just got a better camera. That's, that's basically yeah. that's, that's how it is. And and then then you're met with the annoying thing that you've got to get all your apps across and it takes you fucking four hours to get the fucking thing working. <laughs> <laughs> so then you buy as remorse. It's like, oh, why did I fucking buy this thing? It's more hassle than it's worth. And so so no meaningful connection. And and uh, and the reason why is because like the reason I, I sense, and this is why David and I speak so heavily on the topic of authenticity and, and vulnerability is that these are the things that create real connection. And when you lack vulnerability, you lack humanness, you lack that connection. And people don't actually know you. They mm. don't really know what you're about, who you are as a person. They just go, oh, you were that funny guy. You know, and it's just, um, and so, yeah, the sad thing is, is then, you know, guys can get left, um, who, who follow this path can get left feeling very empty themselves. Uh, mm. And can, uh, something you were saying in the preamble, Dave, around like, can actually turn to some quite disastrous mental health issues. Yeah, yeah. Like, we, we again, we, it's something we saw with, with guys is like, you think you're, and, and this is another one that, you know, the faking it till you make it. Is you're like, oh, I'm going to fake confidence. I'm going to fake, you know, pizzazz and charisma. And what you don't realize by faking it is you're ref in reinforcing in your own being, in your own mind, that you don't have it. Mm. Like every time you fake something, you're telling yourself, I don't have this. I can't do this. So I have to fake it. So the more you continue to hack, you know, you're like, oh, let me hack conversation because I heard these conversation tidbits. And don't get me wrong, like I don't think learning about how to have conversation is all well and good, right? And learning, having some tips, but it's when you only rely on those and you're not really moving yourself forward um, that you, you're you just like using those hacks continuously and you're not actually like learning how to have deeper conversation. You're going to find that you end up in the same patterns. You're going to have the same conversations again and again. You're going to have the same experiences of women again and again. And it's just going to be boring, you know? It's going to be uninteresting for you. And it's actually going to, you're mm. going to yearn for something deeper. Like if you're listening to this podcast, the chances are is that you know what we're saying is true. You feel this yourself. You mm. feel that this hacking at your dating life or any aspect of your life, yeah, for the most part, isn't really getting you where you want to. It's like, I know I always feel that um, hacking any aspect of your life came from Tim Ferriss. Mm. And I, I'm not knocking Tim Ferriss because I've got his books. I've read some of them and blah, blah, blah. But actually, he it was almost a bit of a trick that he got you into. He's like, yeah, hack this thing. But actually, he was always talking about doing something for a long period of time and doing and learning about it properly. You know, like, you know, I, I bought his book, The 4-Hour Chef. And it's like, he taught you particular recipes, but out in around those, he also taught you like how to cook in general, you know? Mm. Um, so this, this kind of hacking and even biohacking, which I think is also a popular one at the moment, it's like, well, actually these things take time. You've got to put the work in, you've got to do things, go through the process and actually go to the depths of things, um, to actually get the, the big thing out of it. And I'm going to quote John Wineland because I always like this quote on his, um, on his website, on his, when you sign up for his newsletter and it's like, fuck hacking, let's go deep. Mm, mm. And I, I'm really, when I read that, I was like, yeah, that's, that's my sort of man. That's my sort of thinking. Fuck hacking, let's go deep. Mm. Yeah, I think that's the, the, one of the big things for me nowadays is, uh, I say nowadays, I, mean, I, I guess I've lived, uh, I kind of live my life this way without realizing, but I recognize it more and more nowadays is experience. And, and mm. experience is, is actually worth something. Like experience is worth something as opposed to, well, even nowadays, a lot of people fake experience uh, or they speak from a place of not experience or they pretend to have experience in something. But over time, it becomes harder and harder to keep that up. And the great thing about doing the work is, is that you actually have the experience, you take the time and the joy is in the experience, not in the end result. That's, yeah. that's, a, that's, a key, that's a key thing about life in general. 
the, the joy of life is an experience of life. It's not just like, oh, okay. And I, this is a, this is a analogy I, I use a lot with, with, uh, with our coaching clients is, you know, you don't go to a movie and the movie just ends at the, you know, at the, mm. at the, at the pinnacle. You know, it's all wonderful and everything, <laughs> everything works out. That would be a pretty shit movie. Every movie uh, is a journey of ups and downs and the character is taken through a myriad of experiences before, you know, they reach the ultimate end and they have a breakthrough or they come to a conclusion which they feel like, boom, this is amazing. And, and that's very much how life is, right? And so whether it's overcoming the challenges that you face in dating, like David and I have done, and then coming to the conclusions and, you know, the weight of the experiences is what makes you go, wow, you know, I feel very lucky. I feel very blessed to have this now. And to quote um, a movie, which I really love, is called Vanilla Sky, the, the sweet isn't as sweet without the sour. And so mm. without the experience of, of the downs, how are you ever going to know, like, when you have it good? Uh, yeah. And, you know, and this is something that I cherish more and more these days. And actually, rather than being a cynical view of life, of like, oh, you must have the sour or whatever, it's actually, it gives me um, a very uh, almost rosy view of negative experiences, it's like, oh, wow, I'm experiencing something negative, like as mm. opposed to like always being in the euphoria of positivity, uh, because I recognize that it's important that we have these experiences. They teach us negative experiences will teach you way more than having quick wins, you know, yeah. and, and having a life just filled with nailing it every fucking time. <laughs> you know, you know, like imagine uh, every sport or every, you know, imagine, David, I know you love this uh very unpopular sport called football. Um, yeah, horrible. So, yeah, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> very, uh, yeah. I don't think it's even international, is it? It's like very no, limited. No, no. Sport. I think there's about 10 people that play the game. <laughs> yeah, there's something about a, a ball and they kick it about. Um, but imagine every single time you played, like you just, you won. Like, yeah. where would the fun, even in your, if you're, you're supporting a team, let's say you're not, you're not a player, but you're, you're someone who just watches football. And your imagine your team won every single time. That would be great for like a season mm. or two yeah. or three mm. or four. But after some time, that would get fucking boring. You might really? you might say, Oh, I'm gonna start watching hockey. <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah. yeah, experience is uh it's actually a very beautiful thing and not something to be circumvented uh, in favor of having quick wins. Yeah, yeah. And I think one of the things that I what I really got from the, the, you know, the hacking, what hacking leads to is it, it actually leads to very superficial relationships. Mm. Like, you know, if you've been in a relationship with a woman, you know, guys, listen to this intensely, right? Because you might feel some resonance in where you've been in relationships. You've been in a relationship with a woman and A, there's a point at which you feel like she doesn't really understand you or you don't really feel like you understand her. You're having very, very... um kind of annoying arguments about petty things or pe petty disagreements, right? Or you're finding that she's like, you're having arguments about things and you're like, why are we even arguing about this? This is ridiculous. You know, there's there's no point to this. Or she's trying to like, you know, not trying to stop you, but you're feeling like you're being stopped from doing the things you want to do or you're trying to stop her from doing the things you want to do. And, th and this all comes from, trying to hack trying to do the things to have fun and just be superficial and an even worse what you're going to find is in your relationship is if your sex is shit mm. and i say shit and i just i really mean it's not very good it's not very like deeply filled with emotion it's just very much like you know it's it's like you know you're going for 5 10 15 minutes and then you roll over and you're like oh yeah that's all right uh, i bust a nut yeah you know, if that's how sex feels for you, if you're if your only thing with sex is like, let me just ejaculate at the end, and that's the enjoyment, then the truth is, is that your sex life is pretty poor, right? And this is all comes from not going deep enough, not being willing to to go to the depths with somebody in the relationship, and this is what we we really do help people in the coaching with, right? Because mm. this like living that sort of superficial unhappy relationship feeling unfulfilled isn't really what you want right yeah it might get you laid a few times and you get some dates but actually and, and trust me because i've really experienced this it feels deeply empty mm. it feels very very empty you know and there'll come a point where you'll be sitting on your sofa staring at a wall 
and feeling quite sad about it. And and the truth is, is I hope that happens to you sooner rather than later, you know, because, mm. you know, I've, I've met guys who are in their fifties that have had exactly that experience. They're sitting there and they're like, shit, I've just done this my whole life. I've had these superficial relationships because mm. I'm not willing to really show up. I'm not willing to go deep. And now I'm 50 years old and I want to have children. And mm. they're like, oh fuck, what am I going to do now? Yeah, and just to add something to that, Dave, is that if yeah, this this lack of awareness or um, not awareness actually, it's, it's a lack of um, knowing of like oh, like how do I fix this problem? And and that so with everything that that David just said there, if you're experiencing all of these things and you're also experiencing like you have no idea like what's going what's going on that is also a lack of experience <laughs> that's that's like a, that's you know that's what comes when you don't actually allow yourself to have the experiences to go to the depth of of uh, experiences so that you can actually learn what it is that you need to do like and, and i can really say in in my life there was, there was a point where i would be seeking advice from others you know maybe even david himself in regards to all my relationship problems and woes but it was only when I started to own my experiences and, and go mm. deep in myself that I was able to actually solve <laughs> my, my, my problems myself and actually learn and be able to have an understanding. But, because until you do, you're just going to continuously feel clueless like, and everything is, is, is happening to you randomly. Like it's always oh, out of your, it's out of your reach. And, and, and so to speak of the people, men who are in their fifties and, and having this problem, I bet you a lot of them, David are going, Oh, this is just how life is for me. Oh, I just, mm. I just can't trust women. Uh, yeah. women are not trustworthy or, you know, relationships just never work out for me. And, mm. and all of those phrases or ways of thinking are indicative of a lack of doing the work. And yeah. this, and the solution is doing the work and the work is actually going deeper into yourself to understand what is, what is it about yourself that is preventing you from opening up and, and connecting on a deeper level with people and understanding your emotions, understanding, you know, like, so like you were saying, Dave, about, and I was really listening to what you were saying there about the arguments and the petty, petty arguments and stuff. Like, what is it about you that you feel you need to defend yourself? from mm. these small little things um that are coming up and i'm not you know we're not suggesting you got to be like a jesus like character completely perfect and, and 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 zero arguments or anything like that we're just saying that actually you want to start to understand why like what is going on underneath the, the surface because david and i are not perfect we have arguments we have problems um you know with our respective partners and stuff and and it happens. Uh, it's, it's part of life. And but you know, from the chaos, we learn and we grow. Um, and and I, I like to think that we're at a stage now that we're able to communicate and do these things a lot more fluidly, and understand what was happening and communicate that a lot more fluidly than ever. Mm. You know, whereas in the past, we would just be like, ah, fuck it, <laughs> and then like <laughs> storm out the house or like point the finger and blame on someone else. So, you know, this, this whole lack of, of awareness, lack of knowledge and understanding is, is very indicative of, of, um, of hacking and, and not actually allowing yourself to learn and grow from your experiences. Um, yeah, so key. Um, mm. So, so important. And, and like, I, I hear this all the time. Mm. And, it, and the saddest thing, David, is like, is time is one thing, but the pain of, mm. and the frustration of, continuously having these bad experiences and not knowing what the fuck is going on or what to do about it is 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 um it's just fucking painful it's so and and and, and you know i've i've experienced it in my life like and i feel very blessed and fortunate that i've arrived at where i'm at uh but you know to to live a long life and and never get to this point you know of understanding what's going on must be really really hard yeah yeah and that, what you said there about the pain is 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 interesting is it's funny how we experience with pain it's like we almost would rather be in the pain we're in than risk the joy that we really want no you're gonna have to explain that go on Was... like people would rather often sit in the pain that they're currently in because they know that pain 
their you know the pain of like oh it's i'm just cool. gonna keep yeah. i'm yeah i'm gonna keep trying to you know keep uh, reading books that tell me 50 conversational hacks you know 50 first uh lines to say what lines i need to say to get a girl's phone number and those sorts of things because mm-hmm. oh it's 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 easy it's comfortable even though most of the time they don't really work for you you know, to be honest about it, guys, unless you're very proficient, it's like for the most part, it doesn't really get you the results that you want. Mm. Then then actually go, okay, I'm going to step out of that pain and go, let me just actually be me. Let's just show up as myself and be emotionally honest about who I am and what I love doing as well, right? As much as we say the word vulnerability, it's vulnerability isn't all about like the negative stuff. It's actually showing up as, as the great person that you are and saying, mm. you know, whatever it is you love doing or you'd like to do or, you know, whatever it is and, and, and come to that point of view and come from that place because actually that's what really creates connection. Like that's mm-hmm. what's been, rev- like, I remember, you know, just the, probably my last story t- today. I remember when I was traveling and I was just meeting people constantly and I was just going, you know, people would meet me and they'd be like, oh, how's, you know, I was traveling for like two years and people would go, it must be amazing. And I was like, yeah, it is, but it's also really shit sometimes. Mm. And they'd be like, what? I'd be like, yeah. I was like, you know, every if you're unlucky which happened to me a few times where every couple of days you're saying goodbye to people Mm. i was like it's really sad you know it can be really heartbreaking people who really enjoy spending time with they're really interesting they're really fun and people be like wow like no one ever says it that way everyone just gives that oh yeah it's great just traveling endlessly no one actually says how it really is Mm. you know what's the real truth is the real vulnerability of how they're feeling yeah that's a great point yeah yeah that's a great point yeah 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 um yeah i think just a last quote then uh, on on the point of like people that uh want to sit with the pain or repeat or try keep on trying the same things is a quote from einstein i think it was um you could feel free to fact check anyone but it was um <laughs> the one of like you know the the doing the same thing again and again and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity mm. uh, and and that's 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 what a lot of guys are doing they're just trying another another hack another tip another you know falling for the what i would class as the magazine headlines you know 10 mm. quick ways to lose that belly fat or whatever or whatever the, the latest thing is i think it's still the same yeah. um if actually yeah they i think they're updated now to like how to become enlightened in 10 10 ways so yeah so so they're, they're moving with the times but um but that <laughs> but that's it there's a point there and it's like if you are and, and I, so I'll, I'll just say this is just like if 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 that piece resonates with you, then I, I definitely recommend you know listening to our other podcasts. And if you've done that, then getting in touch with us uh, and, and having a conversation with us about this because there's something that you're not seeing, and, and this is you know exactly what we do. We are we are the seers. Mm, we, mm. we see the things that you're not seeing, and we've been through it. And thanks to our experience, you know, we're able to to really speak on that level. So yeah. Yeah, we're out, we're yeah. here. We're available to talk to for a limited time period. You can catch us. Um, yeah, and coaching is really like a lot of people um, I speak to are like, "Oh, I don't need a coach." It's like, "Yeah, you don't need a coach." But all the people you know that are doing great things in their life, I guarantee you, they've got a coach in some way or form, and you yeah. just don't know because we people don't always speak about it, right? Like you know, between us, we've got we've got business coach, we've got personal coaches. You know, in the past, I've had fitness coaches. I've had, you know, all sorts of coaching. You mm. know, and it's got me yeah. to where I am today. My partner's the same. Um, and a lot of my friends are the same. And a lot of the people you look up to. And it's like this this essence, this element of your dating. You know, we've we've, we've been through the gambit. We've, we've helped people before. We know the difference it makes. And, you know, give us a call. Let's have a chat. Yeah. Um, and let's, let's get into it. Because this is what we love doing. Yeah. And yeah, and a great place to start uh is the uh the power of authentic communication course which mm. is uh taking place on the 26th um sorry 30th on on the 30th of this month i don't know why it's the 26th on the 30th of this month on <laughs> sorry, the power of com- authentic communication is taking place on the 30th of this month um we gave you all the details at the start of this podcast and it's going to be an amazing course uh really going into the depths of you know opening up and speaking you know, actually, because someone else, someone asked, like, you know, how, how uh, on our Instagram, someone put the question, you know, like, how should we approach women authentically and vulnerably? Because women don't want to hear about men being uh, nervous, and that would look bad. 
And I was like, it's a great question. Uh, we have this amazing course <laughs> that, that we actually, <laughs> because, you know, there's, because you know what, there is no quick fix. There's not like a five, you know, five tips to speak in authentically. Being authentic actually requires doing the work, understanding yourself. And that's what in, we're going to do in this course. We're going to help you understand yourself, understand what's going on, neutralize those fears and communicate yourself in an authentic way that's attractive. Um, and, you know, really being, and you know, I think the phrase I'm really going to start saying a lot more now is how to be naturally confident, you know, mm. and, and confidence isn't a, isn't a, a, isn't a way of, um, isn't a veneer. It's not a, it's not an appearance. Com real confidence is something that comes from really being, um, comfortable in your own skin, you know, really comfortable in who you are as a person uh, and, and, and showing up however you really and truly feel. Yeah, powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. Yeah. So, guys, I uh, really hope you enjoyed this uh, episode from us. I think that was a quicker one. Um, <laughs> uh, one of the quickest we've done to date. Uh, Record-breaking time. Um, you can find out more about Authentic Dating Series and me and David on our Instagram, which is at Authentic Dating Series. Or you can email us at hello at AuthenticDatingSeries.com. The website is the same authenticdatingseries.com um, but yeah we'd love to hear from you and your questions we um, yeah we're here to help and we you know we have a newsletter that we put out on a, on a monthly basis we answer your questions in there so you know you can sign up to that it's, that's all totally free you know the, the Instagram the, the podcast the newsletter all of that is absolutely free and it's some really really amazing content around your for your dating life you know in, the, in, in just what i've shared there mm -hmm. and i always say this to the guys is that you often get asked like oh what do women want and i can show you countless messages on instagram women want you to know what we're telling you to do <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah that's what women want you know like we've got we've actually got a few episodes uh in the back catalog you know from previous we did one with amy from temple of feminine mm -hmm. we did one with We've also from uh, Taylor Matched and Russ from uh, Social Collective, um, all about what is it that women want. Mm. So, you know, if you want to know that, then go back to those episodes because there's some great episodes in there. But, you know, if you really want to know the truth of what women want you to be doing is, is what we're talking about. There you go. That's it. Finito. I'm dropping the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag mic drop situation. Just so... <laughs> on the floor there yes sir. Boom. Boom. yeah cool yeah cool man yeah that was a really good episode thanks dave thanks <laughs> uh cool guys well it's been a pleasure having you here with us yeah. in the front room until next week ciao ciao ciao, ciao.